Hi, my name is Steve and this is Graphic and Design. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this neon sign text effect using Affinity Designer. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. For that, we need to create a new document. And what we do is we go to File, New. In my case, I got a preset already created. Uh, it's a 1080p. Um, I'm not going to use the transparency, so I'm going to unclick uh, untick that transparency background. And my document, as you can see here, is 1920 by 1080, and I'm using a 300 dpi, dpi, and the rest I'm going to leave it as it is. So you click OK, and voila, that is our new document. Okay, first things first, we need to put some text that we are going to apply that effect. For that, we come here to our tool panels and I'm going to use the artistic, artistic text tool. I'm going to click and drag to make something, more or less something like that. We are going to make some modifications later on, so no problem. And I'm going to type for the exercise as I got on my thumbnail. I'm going to put neon. Now I'm going to click my selection tool. I'm going to move it somewhere there, somewhere in the middle. And now I come in here to my contextual bar. I'm going to click on my font. And the ones that I'm going to use, or the one that I'm using is called League Script. It's actually a free font, so you can download it from Google Fonts. Anyway, uh, this is fine, but it's not exactly, exactly as I wanted. Uh, first of all, as you can see, it's a little bit thin. So first of all, I'm going to stretch it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to stretch it something like that. Something like this, okay. Let me put it on the middle. So, uh, the other thing that I want to do first to make it a little bit thicker, but also I want to put on the intersections of the different, um, where the different tubes are coming, uh, there is like a shadow or it should be like a cat um, in between them. So I'm going to put one day on the E, one day on the O, and maybe something else here on the, that curved day on the O as well. And I'm going to get rid of this part of the E. Uh, I don't really, I don't really like it, but let's see how it goes. Anyway, so the first thing uh, what we need to do with this is we need to convert this into curves. And for that, with um, Affinity Designer, very simple, we click in Convert to Curves. So now, all these are different curves. What we're going to do is, I'm going to ungroup it here on my Layers panel. I'm going to select all of them. And here at the top, you have what is called the geometry. So basically, you do all the Boolean operations for the geometry. I'm going to click on the Add. So I, everything becomes one, and I'm going to move it away from that group. And then you can select and delete that group. So now this is actually geometry. If I click on my uh, node tool and I click on this, you can see all the different points that actually um, makes all the curves that makes the, the text. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some stroke to give it some thickness. So as you can see, you can add as much as you want. I'm going to use something like a 20. I think it will be fine to make it a little bit thicker. I think that we are fine there. And what we are going to do now, now that I got it se selected, and you go to layers uh, here at the top, and then you go to expand stroke. So when you do that, basically it creates two different uh, curves. One that is just only the the border as as the thicker one and the other one is oops sorry let me move it there so if i do this basically that one is the one that is thicker and this one is the original one so the original one we are not going to need it so we just delete it so we click on this one now we need to start doing the cuts in between them uh, I'm going to do one and then I'm going to speed it up so you don't because all everything is more or less the same So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to zoom in 
and what I'm going to do now is I need to create something to actually cut in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my pen tool I'm going to click somewhere there and I'm going to click somewhere there and then oops sorry we need to give something less than that I think one will be fine and let's give it another color so we can identify what are we doing okay uh, sorry stroke there well, there we go let's give it a, a red color or something like that that we can identify what it is let me delete this one start it all over again I'm going to click in there then click in there and I'm going to give it a little bit of curve so we follow actually that curve that we have on the E then I'm going to click in here and sorry click again to make it straight I'm going to click the click the and then I'm going to close it so I think it's something like that should be fine something that I can do is before we move forward I can click in there and actually I can give it a little bit of curve in this one as well so basically it follows the curve and the curvature of the E then what I'm going to do is pressing shift I'm going to select both and here coming to the top to geometry I'm going to click in subtract and now we have basically that part done what I'm going to do maybe that one day if I press C I can make it a little bit rounded don't make it uh, try to make it a little bit rounded uh, the neon tubes they don't they don't finish in sharp corners so with that one done let's keep on doing the rest so i'm going to speed it up when i finish we we'll go to the next part Okay, I think uh, this is more than enough. So now is what we are going to do is I'm going to move this one here the, to the top. Now we are going to start to get the color and the effects and all that. So I'm going to click uh, Alt, sorry. I'm going to uh, press Alt, click and drag to make a copy, release Alt, move it and put it somewhere there i think it will be fine now i'm going to make two more copies of this just only pressing command j or uh, ctrl j in a pc i'm going to select all of them what we can do is this shift the select all of them and i'm going to give them a color remember we are going to then modify a little bit the color of each one but for started use something bright turning reddish I think it will be something like that will be fine okay now we are going to modify this one a little bit this one I'm going to leave it as it is if you go here to your control panel sorry that one day I'm going to give it a luminosity of 40 so I'm going to make it a little bit dark this one I'm going to give it a luminosity of 50 and this one day I'm going to give it a luminosity of 60 and this one there at the top I'm going to make it actually white so we need to move it something like that to make it white you'll see later on okay now that we have that I'm going to click on this one 
I can't move it to the top so let's do like this from the top to the sorry from the bottom to the top we click on the bottom and we need to put it uh, on the higher layer so that one is fine I'm going to click that one and send it up the next one and send it up and the next one send it up you'll see just a little bit later what I'm going to do now we click on the on the top on the sorry on the bottom one now we go to effect we use Gaussian blur and we can put I think it's something around 30 will be fine on the next one we are going to use also Gaussian blur we are going to use but now it's 20 and on this one at the top we are going to use a Gaussian blur of 10 pixels now going back to the layers I click the I put click all together and I'm coming here at the top to my alignment um, tool I click in the last selected in the middle and in the middle I click done and then you can come here to the to the top and click group so everything moves together so basically if I move this and I put it here on the middle basically we can say when we, we finish now to make this one uh, appear a little bit better I'm going to do as I did on my on this one that I have here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle I'm going to put on top a rectangle I'm going to give it um, completely black and the stroke obviously I'm going to eliminate the bring my selection I bring it underneath and basically we can say that we are finished this is our end product I hope you like it if you did please uh, give the thumbs up to the video share it subscribe all the things that always everybody says on the, on the YouTube channels any suggestions any comments please leave them in the section down below if you have any idea or something that you like me to actually create and using affinity please let me know okay so if you've been up to here thank you very much for watching and like always see you in the next video